What's up guys, this is leaked footage of everyone playing against Sonic and Smash Ultimate if they hated fighting him in Smash 4. Sonic got hit with the nerf bat, and let me just explain why. So Sonic Spin Dash, first of all, get absolutely bodied. Spin Dash is no longer shield cancelable. It no longer goes through shields, unless you charge it even more. It is now worse for comboing with weird knockback that makes it harder to combo at low, mid, and high percents for both damage and killing. You can no longer air dodge immediately after jumping with it. It has to be released after being held for a certain amount of time. And the only super broken thing it has left still is it has invincibility on release, which is like not nearly enough considering all these nerfs to what was his best tool. Um, what else? His up B now has less invincibility frames on it, although his recovery is good in Smash 4 and it's still really good in Ultimate, I think. I think it's versatile enough that it won't matter too much, especially because with the changes to offstage gameplay, It'll be a lot easier to land forward smashes, up and back airs offstage for killing. And I think overall he benefits from the offstage mechanic changes. Um, he has a new dash attack, but his dash attack just seems bad. 50 frame FAF, it doesn't combo, it's a single hit lingering move. And overall I think it's just a worse spin dash, so like dash attack and smash 4 was. So, whatever. Um, grab game of course, universally nerfed in Sonic's no exception. He was a character that's very grab reliant though, so when you have nerf grabs overall on him especially because his shield pressure with spin dash is now a lot worse that's just gonna hurt him a lot people are just gonna hold shield him to be honest and body him by holding shield like it, i really have to really have to explain how badly these spin dash nerfs hurt him worse for comboing worse for pressure more committal everything um also the changes to landing lag while this should help sonic with his aerials, I don't think they actually will be that impactful because Sonic didn't have good air mobility in Smash 4 and he wasn't really landing on top of people with aerials unless they were afraid of spin dashes or other things. And in Smash Ultimate, that won't really change. Like, he's not going to get a chance to land on top of people with aerials much because people are just going to challenge him with disjoints in Smash Ultimate like they did in Smash 4. And his aerial landing lag isn't looking particularly good anyway. Nair is at 10 frames, Fair is at 16, Bear at 18, Up Air at 13, Dare at 21. And speaking of up air and dare, people are falling out of up air, it seems, very consistently. So that's just going to hurt him if it's not fixed by the full game release. Although I think that's a glitch, so it should be fixed. Down air apparently has a little bit less range on it, although that can't like be fully confirmed. But it just makes it hard for challenging people with down air, which once again, just challenge Sonic with dish joints if he's landing on top of you now. Same as before. And these are overall really big nerfs. His spot dodge did get buffed. It's now 20 frame FAF, which is insane that is the fastest ff of any character as far as i know and that is one third of a second like run up spot dodge might be the sonic meta now which sounds really obnoxious to deal with but doesn't make up for spin dash being bodied um you know standard roll nerfs whatever not too big of a deal honestly he wasn't revolting that that much anyway um i should mention movement in general even though sonic's movement is better so is everyone else's and i know i mentioned this in a lot of other videos but when you have a character who's already good at moving, and then the characters who are bad at moving got a lot better, and you basically make the gaps more narrow between the best and the worst, that's gonna hurt a character like Sonic who is at that top, because now, essentially, Sonic's like advantage over other characters with movement is smaller. So, I could be wrong with that one, and all that people are gonna say, oh, he's the fastest moving character in the game, blah, 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 and yeah, that's right. And I do think in Smash 4, even, his footsie game, was extremely underdeveloped and only really Ken took advantage of it. But I don't think a footsies based Sonic, which is my theory on how Sonic's gonna work in Smash Ultimate, will be enough to be a particularly great character. Especially when you have other grounded footsies based characters like Med Knight and Fox already doing work. And I'm not sure where Sonic really comes in to, you know, take a take a place in the meta there. Um, homing attack is now faster. And now it's unreactable speed if you let go of it as soon as possible, which is pretty nice. I can see it being decent for everything. Like, it's not got much damage, which is its main flaw. But it would be good for mixing up neutral. should be good for advantage state. should be good for even getting out of disadvantage state. And I feel like it's just going to be useful everywhere because, ah, Sonic suddenly randomly homing attack. Oh, I got hit by it. Well, that sucks. But it won't be enough to make Sonic really good. I think it's just going to be a useful tool that's actually very useful. Let's see, is there anything I forgot to mention? No, I believe that's it. This was a quicker video for sure, but that's because I think a lot of Sonic was changes were just, hey, he lost this, he lost that, this doesn't help him much. 
and this is very simple change that obviously does this and that's all so yeah um i do think sonic overall is looking pretty bad unless he's changed in the full build of the game maybe i'd be proven wrong i'm sure someone's gonna be in comments saying oh no the buzz you've got about this and that is gonna be great because of these reasons and you know that's possible but it's just my opinion let me know what character you guys want me to talk about next and peace out